Hi, my name is Graham Potter. Welcome to my workshop. The material for today is this box of Sempervirens. This is a common box, a uh, very old Yamadori tree collected in the south of France. And as you can see, it's already had some styling work completed. However, I believe we can improve the quality of this bonsai considerably uh, with some sympathetic work. So as we go through the video, uh, I'll be showing you some of the uh, techniques I like to use. And hopefully by the end, we should end up with uh, a much more characterful uh, and presentable tree. As far as I can tell, the previous owner of this tree had selected this uh, view as the front of the tree. Uh, as you can see, it makes a very elegant solution. However, there are one or two problems uh, with this side of the tree. Uh, for a start, the trunk here uh, is actually more interesting on the back than the front. Uh, and also, most of the trunk comes backwards and away from us, so the trunk is actually sloping towards where I'm standing now. <clears throat> However, most of the branches do come forwards uh, to this, towards this front, and with box that's quite significant because the very old branches are quite brittle and they're very, very difficult to bend. So perhaps this is the easy option for styling this tree. Viewing the material from this side, you can see immediately that the trunk is much more interesting. It's naturally hollow, which is a typical feature of this very old type of material. Uh, also, the dead wood is coming nicely towards us, uh, but uh, as I said before, the branches are kind of coming to the back, so we are going to have to do a little bit of manipulation there. But you can see from this angle, this dead wood kind of plays uh, together. You know, the two parts of it play together in quite an interesting dance, and so I think that with a little bit of care this piece of dead wood on this side can be improved and the branches on here can be moved more towards this side of the tree as a front so this is what we're going to go with for now and see uh, see how we get on
So here we are with the completed work. Uh, apologies for not showing you any intermediate pictures, but unfortunately the early hours of this morning I got kind of carried away and just finished the whole tree. Uh, so hopefully you can see uh, we've managed to improve this tree considerably. Uh, we've gone from that long flat pad of foliage going off to the side to creating more height in the tree. <clears throat> uh, it's not been the easiest tree to do because working this very old material, the, this, this species, is very difficult. The branches are very brittle and very inclined to break. Uh, so it's not something that I would recommend for uh, somebody just starting out wiring uh, because the branches are very, very brittle. And as you can see, when we show you the rest of the tree, we've used lots of tourniquets to just gently ease and pull branches into place rather than wiring them in the conventional fashion. Uh, a lot of the branches have dead wood in them. Uh, which is very hard and very brittle so we've had to uh, really work very hard to achieve this image uh, and I hope uh, that you'll agree that it's somewhat of an improvement from where we started. Uh, from this side of the tree being the front we've managed to create lots of perspective in the back and um, we've also managed to improve the quality of the deadwood and the movement in the trunk and also the fact that the apex of the tree kind of comes towards you um, with a little bit of care I've managed to actually move the branches so we've got branches on both sides <clears throat> and uh, we're also showing this very very attractive hollow in the trunk so uh, I think that uh, as always this is a good place to start with this material uh, and uh, hopefully over the coming uh, months and years this will really develop into a very nice quality bonsai tree. So thanks for watching.